And in, in, in this league, I, I know you're not going up against the opposing quarterback, but in, in this league on the other sideline, that there's going to be a big time quarterback. How, how much do you enjoy knowing that, that there's a quarterback on the other sideline each week that that is talked about it as much as, as yourself? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the, the quarterback community, you know, is worldwide. And it's always cool, you know, just to, to interact with the quarterbacks, you know, pregame or postgame, whatever it may be, and just kind of chop it up with them, um, see what they're thinking, and then um, vice versa. Uh, it's always just a just a blessing, you know, just to be, you know, a part of the quarterback community. We're getting to know more about Jalen Hyatt now that he's sort of ascended. Uh, seems low key with us. Maybe the best dressed on the team. Ultra talented. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe <laughs> top five best dressed on the team. Okay. Uh, I'm curious to know when you got here last year. What were your first impressions mm -hmm. of Jalen Hyatt? Yeah. Um, Dating back to when Jay Hyatt was committed to Virginia Tech, I remember him being on his official visit, and uh, one of my roommates, Trey Turner, who I grew up with, uh, was hosting Jalen. So Jalen was at our house, you know, hanging out the whole weekend, and we just had a good time, um, you know, through that process. And then he'd come up for some games or whatnot whenever he could, and we'd chop it up. So we've, we've had a, a pretty good relationship, you know, for some time now. Um, then getting here, uh, that was one of the first people I contacted, because uh, that's pretty much all, um, who I knew other than um, Bryce Thompson, but he already had left uh, for, the, for his draft process or whatnot. And I remember the first weekend, it was me, Walker Merrill, um, Jay Hyatt, and uh, Jay Wright. And we were in the indoor, you know, just throwing balls. And he wanted to see if I could really throw the ball. So I was like, yeah, man, you know, you, you came to a couple games and saw me play. But um, he's just really genuine and, and loves to have a good time. He loves to work hard. Um, everything that he's put in through this offseason has shown up on the field. A couple things, and then first, what's the story with the high step, especially near the sideline? Mm -hmm. It just throws the defense off a little bit. It just kind of, I try to uh, make them think I'm, I'm going to cut it back, and then I just play off whatever movement they, uh, they give me. If they think I'm cutting it back, then I'll accelerate and, and go the opposite way. If they try to cut me off, then I can change direction. Coaches like it, or are they get on you for it? No, they, no, they just let me play my game. So um, as long as the ball's secure and I have it high and tight, then we're good. And one other quick thing: Have you seen as the year has gone on, defenses change what they do to you and your receivers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, many times. You know, we we come out like example. This past weekend, uh, they came out and ran a lot of cover zero, and um, you know, mixed in some cover two in there. Um, you know, we, we weren't really expecting that, but we were expecting a lot of pressure. Um, you know, there's it, plenty of times that we come out and, and there are looks that, that we don't expect, and we just go out there and, and play our game, come back to the sideline, communicate with the coaches up top, and um, alter our game plan and move on from there. Eric and then Wes. Hayden, what have you seen from Kentucky defensively on tape so far? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, they look good um, up front. Um, you know, they have some. They have some young guys up there, but uh, very, very fast in the back end, have some experienced corners and safeties. Um, you know, usually we see them kind of drop out, drop out in a lot of coverage uh, previous years. They're bringing some more pressure this year. Um, so, you know, excited to go out there and compete at a high level. And then a couple of quick things. First, what's it been like as, as one of Cedric's really good friends on the team, kind of watching him go through this? Everybody knows how hard the guy mm -hmm. works. How hard has it been to kind of see him stuck there and, and trying to play and not mm -hmm. be able to play? Yeah, um, you know, I, I know exactly, you know, what he's going through. I've, I've battled through injuries before and had to sit out for, for some time. Um, just being there and trying to encourage him, uh, I can see it in his face that he wants to be out there competing with us. Um, even when he's on the sideline, you know, he's dialed in. He's, he's communicating with the receivers. Um, like this morning we had our, our quarterback receiver meeting and um, says back in there, you know, communicating with his with his receivers, you know, what we like and communicating with the quarterbacks. Hey, we might run it like this, um, get certain looks. Um, so, you know, I, I love I love just him being here and being positive and uh, bringing that energy and that juice to the team. And secondly, I'm, I'm sure you don't want to get into specifics, but generally speaking, how much more complex are, are y'all in the passing game this year? How many more things are you able to do that maybe last year, you mm -hmm. know, would have been too much to do in the first year? I think just just us having some, um, you know, having having some some processes that we've been through this past year that we've encountered this year that we've known how to handle, and um, battling through different adversities and being on the same page and having chemistry and gelling and all that just comes into play um, through the time we've spent through this off season, 
and um, how much more work we've put in this offseason, knowing and being more comfortable in this offense and knowing what the coaches want to see um, in different situations has definitely benefited us. And a couple things, going back to Cedric, how much have you and him talked about, you know, it looks like he's getting close to maybe coming back, how much have you guys talked about him coming back mm -hmm. and what do you think he could bring when, when, he, when he does get back? Yeah, I try to make a conscious effort to um, always check on my guys, no matter if they're healthy or if they're not. Um, you know, communicating with Sid, we, we talk a lot and spend a lot of time together. Um, just really making sure that his, his mental is in the right space, um, in which he's done a great job of, of just being locked in and, and staying, um, staying in the now and knowing, you know, what defenses we're getting and knowing the game plan so that when his time is, um, is when his time comes and he's feeling better and he's ready to come back, that he'll be in the same flow. And switching gears, Coach Halsey talked, I think, back in camp about how watching you play basketball and seeing how loose you were, they, their message to you was to play football like you play basketball. First of all, are you one of the best basketball players on this team? And second of all, how, how was that a tough process for you to sort of translate just being loose and having fun to – uh, to football, was that a process for you, or, or how much work did that require? I never really thought about it like that until they kind of approached me with that, um, with that idea and bringing that attitude from the basketball court, um, you know, to the football field. And I am the best basketball player on the team, um, but yeah, it it really just helped me find myself and um, being comfortable in my own skin, so to speak. And I didn't have to be so uptight and uh, demanding and um, you know, really just trying to be overly focused in, in my craft. And I can just go out there and have fun, enjoy what I'm doing. And then a couple of things. Can you overthrow Squirrel White? It's hard. If I, throw, if I throw it as soon as he takes off, probably, yes, sir. Yeah, but, um, you know, him getting down the field is, is, is a thing of beauty. He's extremely fast. You can't teach that. Um, him and Jay Hyatt just have some, some tools in their belt that are unbelievable. And, uh, you know, I love going out there and competing and, and throwing him the ball. And as a leader on this team, a guy with a great story, and there are other really good stories of perseverance on this team, how much does William Wright's opportunity and story resonate with you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, all through camp and, um, you know, going back to last year, Will Wright, no matter if he was on the scout team, no matter if he was, um, you know, with the, with the defense, no matter if he was on special teams, he's going to give 100%. And when I saw Will Wright go out there, I was, I was telling Joe Milton, um, I was like, Joe, he's going to make a play. And Joe, and Joe was like, I believe it. he's going to make a play because every day he comes with that same attitude. I'm going to give 100%. I'm going to go hard, even if guys don't like it. You know, it might be a day where it's a, a slow tempo and, um, you know, guys want to catch the ball and get up field. Will Wright is going to be there playing aggressive and, and playing how he knows to play, and that's giving 100%. And uh, hats off to Will making a great play and uh, looking forward to him making a lot of more great plays. Take a few more pages. Um, real quickly, who do you emulate your basketball game after? Uh, Penny Hardaway. Okay, and then uh, back to football. As the pressure, you know, kind of continues to mount, you're in another big time game. How do you all either use that to your advantage, or like you say, just keep it business as usual? Mm -hmm. Just keeping the main thing, the main thing, and that's winning ball games. And how we win ball games is how we prepare, um, preparing at a high level, and being able to come in a meeting room and and lock in and be able to communicate with coaches and players. Um, about the looks we're getting and about how we want to accomplish different plays um, is something that we take um, and we pride ourselves in for being perfect. And you'll never be perfect, but you know, getting close to that is, is what we strive to do. Anything else for Hendon? All right, thanks everybody. Thank y'all.